you know, you co-wrote what every song on this album? Every song, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not a bad gig. So that obviously keeps you pretty busy. But I wonder, like, about your life. Like, if you're on the road and constantly writing, and you've got a family, you're doing this. Like, what does a Thomas Rhett vacation look like? Like, what do you do <laughs> to unwind, or are you writing on vacation? Um, I, tr I, tr I try not to write on vacation. Um, usually, w when we do have downtime, my wife makes me pretty much be like, "Hey." Don't think Shut about it music down. anymore. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch you that close to your head, but it's fine. I was trying to just you know reenact that, but um, no, I think I'm one of those people that kind of always has to be writing songs. Like even if I'm not, even if I'm on vacation, I'm not technically writing. I'm for sure putting like ideas in my phone and you know just just having conversation with. I got a, I got a, I got a song idea from you in the dressing room a minute ago. Are you gonna write a song about that? I don't know. Maybe you said it was the same but different, and I thought same but different was kind of a cool idea. Do I get so writing credit? You can have writing credit just, if you. Yeah, for can sure. I just write and my so first do song? all of you, and you get a car, and you get a puppy, and oh, wait, it's gonna but, be awesome. Wait, wait. Did you say you said that or I said that? No, you said that. I said it. Okay. If y'all ever hear anything same but different, that's for me. <laughs> On Thomas Rhett's next album. Yeah. Okay. So, and your dad, obviously, Red Aikens, amazing songwriter Thank as you. well. Yeah. He's got like what thirty number one songs. Like thirty six number one. Name ones. them yeah. all. You are not a good son right now. Honeybee. Okay, just kidding. You small don't town boy. <laughs> dirt on my boots. Okay, okay, okay. So Mickey, okay. What, when it came to like having a dad that's obviously in the same line of work, like what, what's, the, what's something that you've learned from him? You know, Father's Day's coming up. We appreciate our, our dads and what they do for us. What's something where it's yeah. like, wow, like this is something I use in my career because of you, um, dad. You know, I, I get asked the question a lot, like what is the best bit of advice you've gotten from your dad? And, and uh, for me... Shoot, I'm so not no, it's original okay. right it's, now. It's, it's, I love answering this question because it's great. I think we all should hear it. But um, dad, before I got into this career, he was like, you have to like maintain this mindset of like not thinking about the future so much in this business because it's easy for like something really good to happen and you not remember to cherish it and just keep going like, okay, well, what are we doing next? Like what song's next and what's rec what record is next? Like I think you have to take a minute to like really soak in the good moments in life because they only, they don't happen a lot, you know? And well, good moments happen, but like some like big moments that you're just like really need to celebrate, like really soak them in and, and live in the moment and try to not think so much about the future. I don't know. That, that's, that's kind of been like my, my lifelong or at least the last seven years motto. <laughs> I love that. I think that's yeah, great advice for, sure. for everybody. Anybody listening or watching, like they can, yeah. maybe they need to apply that to their life right maybe now. So. Live in the moment. Yeah. This post, is like a podcast right now. Post on Instagram or it never happened. So your 2019 Very Hot Summer Tour is happening. I remember when I first heard that was the tour. I was, was that the name or is it just like it was really hot that day? Well, it wasn't hot, just the hot needed an adjective. So. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. So it's in full swing and there's, you know, your dad's out there. Russell Dickerson, yeah. so fun, love him. And Dustin Lynch, Dustin Lynch he's yeah. the coolest. So what do you get like your people for like an end of tour? I mean, I know you're on it, but like, like what's going to be your gift? You know, when everybody, when the artist hosts like a tour, is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, they call you, them inner tour gifts. It, yeah. you, you're in charge of getting your people like a <laughs> gift. And so what are you going to get? Like, let's decide right now. Like, you know, new cars. Wow. Um, uh, watches, uh, bulldozers. I oh, I've, been, I've been given a lot of random stuff over the course of my career. So, um, Sea-Doo's. Sea dues. Yeah, Dirk Spitley. What budget got, do you think no, we're working no, on? Seriously, I, the, I I live next door to a Brothers Osborne. Oh well. And Dirk's makes a lot more money Dirk, than I and do. So Dirk Bentley got them sea dues, and there they are, right in the driveway. <laughs> I might get them lime scooters. Oh great. Okay. Awesome. Well. For free. Okay. Well, it's super fun going out on tour with you. So I'm, I'm kidding. It's going to be awesome. I just maybe kidding. not a Lamborghini, but maybe like a Ford Focus or something. So. 